Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're doing version 2 of the budget uh, Jack Frost build for the Warlock. And this time we are going to tone it down a notch with the Illusion Gears from episode 17.1. Um, these are level 130 requirement, except for the... Um, well, the Pride Stone is 150 required and the Circle of Time is level 170. So... Um, yeah, it's a, a, a lot lower level if you want to sort of transition to it. But, you know, circular time, M attack plus 15 for two refines. Um, mon uh, every three refines, you get 3% VCT reduction. Also, every three refines, you get 20% chain lightning and jack frost damage. Every four refines, you get 5% wind and water property magic damage. And at plus 11, 5% M attack. But obviously, you don't really need that. Plus 9 should be enough. Now we have Luck plus 1, Temporal Jewel Int, Heal Effectiveness 1%, M Attack plus 2 per 2 refines, M Attack plus 1% per 5 refines, and we have the Lictern blue card here, M Attack 10, 5% Water Property Magic Damage, an additional 5% if the headgear is um, at plus 9, so we got 10% there. The only OCP on the build is the Phantom Ears. 10% uh, um, magic damage to all sizes, 5% resistance to players, immunity to sleep, and uh, level 5 intensification, you get 100% FCT reduction for Jack Frost and 80 seconds cooldown reduction for intensification. Now we have recognized spell level 5, um, you get 15% ACD reduction, and we have the weakened Fenrir card here, really cheap, M attack plus 25, you know, probably under 1 million because um, everybody has it. Next, the Illusion Armor Type B, M Attack 100, additional 10 per 2 refines. Plus 7, you get 10% uh, VCT reduction. And when it's comboed with the Illusion Engine Wing Type B, you get an additional 50 M Attack. Now we have two um, M Attack orbs on here. Um, M Attack 5%, plus 7 you get uh, 25 M Attack, plus 9 you get additional 25. And we have the Sweet Nightmare card, M Attack 20, and obviously we need that anti-cast cancellation uh, for when you get hit. So, very good investment. Next, the Illusion Engine Wing Type B, HP 1000, additional 100 per two refines. Plus 7, you get 5% VCT reduction. And obviously we don't have the Illusion Leg, so we're not going to talk about it. But we do have two uh, Mod Orb Caster. 5% VCT reduction, plus 7 additional 3%, plus 9 additional 3%, so up to 22% in total with 2. And we have the Face Worm Larva card here, 15% less damage to neutral attacks, but you also get 3% more water property magic damage per refine. So at plus 9, that's 27%, which is pretty good, you know. Next, the uh, Temporal Dex Boots. Um, I would actually prefer the Int Boots because technically the FCT is sorted. If you don't have the FCT sorted, then this might be a good option for the 0 0.5 second FCT at least. Um, we also have um, the Spell 5 I Enchant, M Attack 18, 10% VCT reduction. Um, we also have the Runaway Magic for that Int Pump when it uh, activates. Not that it always activates, to be fair. Um, and uh, obviously the, the boots, we have the Boiling Mark card here. 5% Holy Water Property Magic Damage, additional 1% every two refines. So additional 9% in total, since it's only at plus 9. Plus 10 would be 10%, you know, if you think about it. But yeah, it doesn't really matter with the Holy, holy Property uh, Magic Damage, because, you know, it doesn't really matter as much. Next, we have the um, Illusion Battle Chip R, M Attack 5%, Spell 5, obviously. 20% um, damage to d water, uh, with water and holy property <laughs> attacks. Hellas Mule card. What the fuck am I talking about? Obviously, the, the left one still has a Hellas Mule card. 20% water property magic damage. Doesn't matter if we have holy. And the weapon is the Pride Stone. Um, indestructible, M attack 320, you get 15% uh, damage for water and neutral property magic damage. You get uh, 6 M attack and minus 3% BCT per 3 refines. At uh, plus 7 you get 10% Comet and uh, Jack Frost damage. At um, 
plus 9, you get um, minus 10 second cooldown for Comet and minus 1.5 second cooldown for Jack Frost. Brings it down to about 2.5 seconds at plus 11, additional 20% damage for both. You know, just a uh, you know, cheap way to actually go about rather than actually getting like the expensive staffs. Next, the blue Pattaya card. Here we have two 10% water property magic damage. Uh, plus 10, you get additional 10% water property magic damage. Obviously, we don't get the plus 14 bonuses, but, you know. So, uh, let's go ahead and do a damage test. Um, this might be slightly a lot lower than the gray set, but um, still definitely effective, even at lower levels. Okay, first, the large dummy. Just a regular Jack Frost without the mystical amp. 323. So, slightly a lot higher than the gray stuff. Although there will be some variations. 440. Mystic Amp actually does a bit, but not as high as Grace, I think. Yeah. Alright, next the uh, Fire Dummy. So we get the elemental bonuses. About 500k. Okay. 555. Tuna. <laughs> 620 with Mystic Amp, 650. Can we reach 700k? Almost 700k. So, oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, almost 700k. Pretty good though. All right, guys. So that was version two of the budget Jack Frost build for the Warlock. Definitely one OCP. Um, yeah, the the Phantom Ears are really important, especially with the FCT reduction. Um, I still hate the fact that um, the cooldown for Jack Frost is at four seconds, but um, at the same time, you know, if you're, this will be a build that um, I guess if you're interested in running a, I mean, let's say for example for myself, running physical class all the time, I want to try to break away from the norm and start doing uh, magic class, but don't want to spend a lot of money on it, you know, play uh, play Warlock, you know, Crimson Rock or Jack Frost, you know, just for fun. Um, like I said, it's not that effective, um, not unless we get a lot of um, more cooldown reduction stuff. Um, we probably, we, we do that, tech, we do have them, but like I don't really just want to justify buying them, um, you know, just to run just Jack Frost, because it was fun before the rebalance, but now it just is a little bit more dated. But hopefully you enjoyed the video, if you like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time.